Being labeled a child predator has definitely ruined my life. The police in my community created criminals where there are no criminals. I've had my friends turn their backs on me. My goal is to get my name cleared so people will not doubt me. Sebastian says he's ready to put his arrest in an online sexting behind him. His mom, Araceli, says her son was taken advantage of because he's naive and law enforcement is finding the weak and preying on them. Sebastian said the police intimidated him during the interrogation. Let's take a look. I just had an urge, and I thought, this girl was my one and only chance because I'd been on pregnancy for a while. I thought maybe I could be somebody that could help her steer in the right direction once I got my thoughts under control. Because I realized what I was doing was wrong. But I thought, since I've already got myself into this mess, maybe I can clear the problem. Sorry. And I wanted to tell her that you need to get off Craigslist and avoid this life, avoid this path before something bad happens. When you initiated that you wanted sex with her, did you know she was 13 at the time? Yes. Okay, now, you're telling this police officer that when you knew she was 13, your intention was to have sex with her. Why are you telling him that? It was all, it was all just a cover up for what I really wanted to do and what I really wanted to tell this person because I had a motive um, behind the reasoning why I wanted to tell, why I told her that I wanted to have sex with her that night. Now, you, you had a friend that, a girl, that had gone to meet up with an adult male and she wound up being killed, correct? That's correct. And you're saying that is one of the things that sensitized you to wanting to get this girl off of a path she didn't need to be on. Correct. Uh-huh. And you understand that this looks really bad, right? Yes. This is probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Now, Sebastian said he wanted to take a polygraph to clear his name uh, with the police. Let's take a look at this. I saw an ad on Craigslist, but eventually she told me that she was 14. But at the time, I was driven by lust and desire to have a companionship and feel whole with somebody, regardless of who they were. Now, you went out there for what purpose, for real? And don't, don't minimize your police. Originally, it was about sex. You're not a pedophile. In other words, you're not a monster. You don't want to hurt nobody. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. You were telling the truth about the case question, which one was the hardest one? I'd say, um, what was it? Not supposed to take a minor, not dealt any porn, child porn. You didn't pass the test, what I'm saying. I want to give you another one, but I need to know kind of like why you didn't, because whatever you did, you just tell me. And I'm not saying you raped somebody, you understand that, right? Right. You're, you're saying, I, yes, I knew she was 14, but kind of lust took over. And so I, I wanted that companionship no matter what. Right. Are, are you saying that had you shown up and a, a very a, a attractive young girl had shown up with a willing spirit to have sex with you, you would have said, no, no, no. No, no, no. I, I'm just here to put you on the right path. Would you have resisted the temptation if you had shown up and she was there? Yes. Girls who push themselves actually too far onto me are a bit overwhelming, honestly. And the fact that I knew that she was four, 14, um, it's just, it probably would have been too much for me to bear. Well, hey, it's me, and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!